The first cardboard boxes can be dated back to 1817, more than 200 years after the Chinese invented the cardboard material. From that point on, cardboard has been present in our daily lives, sometimes being taken for granted so much that it goes unnoticed. However, Carolina Pino, a young NYU designer from Santiago, Chile, has come up with an idea to reuse the abundant material. Her project is named Shell House Living Portable. They are shelters for the homeless that are traceable with the use of radio devices. Have a look. My name is Carolina Pino and my project is called Shell House Living Portable. And it's about collapsible cardboard shelters for homeless people using radio devices. This is the first circuit of uh, the original version of the project, which is basically composed by a radio, a 3.3 volts regulator and a 9 volts battery. And this circuit goes here. Uh, we have the circuit, which is a hacked MP3 player, which is a controller. And this one is the one that goes in each shelter. The project was born um, from an art project and basically making myself questions about what, an art, what was the role of an artist today. The idea of making a network from um, shelters for homeless people, it's about making something useful hopefully for a community. Mark several lines of the same measure following the natural stripes of the cardboard plate. Fold it upwards and fold it backwards. It's kind of an accordion. Then mark the middle of the whole plate and leave 15 centimeters to each side of this mark. The idea of combining something very cheap and something that was uh, the meaning of, you know, consumerism, such as cardboard, combined with technology that is meant to be for only a group of people that have access to it. I'm working now in the version, in a second version of the project. Uh, which would be about making this network visible in the internet or in Google Maps. It's not only about posting your photographs or what you think about something, but mostly making something for someone else. An inspired effort to aid the less fortunate of our community, this project shows new possibilities toward the control and prevention of homelessness. It helps those who live in the streets of our cities in assuring them that they are not forgotten. Bravo, Carolina.